I always was in the car with my dad. He was always bumping Jay Z in them, you mm-hmm. know. So like, I always was telling him, "Please play that song back. Play that shit back." Like, what was it? A uh, public service announcement. Ooh, that shit came out. What? Young kid, bro. And my oh. dad would take me everywhere. Like he'd go yeah. hooping. I wasn't even old enough to hoop, but he would just he'd always take me, and he'd always be bumping that shit. That's so cool. like, when back then I. At the age I was, I couldn't just grab music and listen to it on repeat. I had to just accept it as it comes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when I got my first stereo, I was like, yo, can I have like a CD to hold? You know what I'm saying? And when you when you do that with a kid, you got to be cautious because it's a lot of words being, it's a lot of, it's, it's very explicit. Yeah. So, very well. right. So I think, I think they, I think my parents was like, yo, Let's give this little nigga, uh, let's give him a Black Eyed Peas album, uh, Monkey Business, right? Mm, mm. And then uh, Method Man, Days After 420. So Okay. And then uh, he gave me that Common album, Finding Forever 2. Oh, so like, yeah, well, yeah. That, those were the three albums I had on repeat. Still, oh, yeah. one thing I find that's motivational is that your parents took an active involvement in what music they expose you to. And I saw with each different CD, it highlights a different artist. I know with the common, I know you got the whole positive shift, the whole positive, you know, love, you know, you know, uh, loving yourself and this and that. You know what I'm saying? I know with the Method Man, you got that rawness in it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So From the J. Raw, bro. Yeah, Fuck man. Hitman, Redman. <laughs> Redman was a lot. Exactly. Redman was all over that album. Yeah, that album was yeah. All I, to. I love Redman. <laughs> Redman but, was actually my favorite of, of that duo because he was so punchline heavy and no one could really match him there. Mm. Not even. Like, I, no one does it like him. His delivery is perfect. But at the same time, what made their duo so great was that no one could do what Meth could do. Yeah. Meth yeah, made every yeah. line sound butter. Like, it's yeah, just, it just made, yeah. made everything. Like, they're both great at delivery, but it was it was different, you know? Like, Red Man's great at the punch part of the delivery. And Meth is like, he'll just, from beginning to end, from, from the start of the sentence to the end, you're just like, oh. it don't even got to rhyme sometimes. <laughs> he'll just say something hard. It would say something hard. Yeah. I see that, man. I see that, yeah. And where are you from? I'm from uh, Springfield, Ohio. And around that time, I was living in Urbana, which is like a, a fucking pit stop if you're traveling. So, like, small town shit. And um, Springfield, what is there to say? Like, it's not It's not shit. It's, <laughs> it's not, nothing cool happens. Meth heads. You know? <laughs> that's it. Lakes that's and it. ducks. Yeah. Pretty much, not even. You get the reservoir. <laughs> yeah, I remember uh, my aunt, um, rest in peace. Like she used to take me, my cousin, which would be her son, and uh, my brother. We go to the beach, right? I ain't yeah. never been to a beach. I'm like, oh, we going to a beach? Word. It was a fucking a dam, but it had like <laughs> it was that sand and shit. But, you know, a little bit of sand in it. You know, a little bit of sand. Word. And um, I'm over here like building sand castles, but a fish head come up and dirt and some other <laughs> shit. Like you know, what I'm saying. We-